My name is Mihuyo Dalasile, and I am a visual artist. I come from Engobo, which is a small town in the Eastern Cape. I grew up there, and art has always been a part of my life. There isn't a specific moment in time where I can say, like, this is where the journey started. I've always been drawn to drawing and just creating. I love the creation process. I started drawing when I was living with my grandmother. They weren't really like serious things that I can say like this is a masterpiece and it is like just the best piece of art. It was just little doodles that I did in any literal like writing place I could find, whether it be paper, on walls, and it was with anything that I could find that I could draw with. In grade 10, I was privileged enough to attend Johan Karinas. They have an affiliation with my old school that I went to in high school. And there, I was able to nurture my skills as an artist. And I was able to develop under another art teacher that also saw things that I didn't see in myself. So essentially, my whole life has just been other people seeing what I didn't see in myself. And from then on, I've just been able to express myself more as an artist. Art has never really been something that I planned to pursue. It's just something that's always been with me. It's always been something that I've grown and learned to love. It has, I haven't learned to love it actually. I've always loved it. And over, year, over, over the years of being an artist and just working at it, I've discovered that I can be an artist. And I think with that, it's not me planning on being an artist. It's just that any space that I go into, I plan to bring my art and any space that I think I want to be like in and introduced to, I will bring that part of myself. It's part of myself that I refuse to leave behind. I found that I identify most with themes that have to do with storytelling and just black bodies and especially with females in art. With me, the art that I create specifically, I like to tell my story specifically where I'm from and how that has made me the person that I am today. And it's like this hybrid figure that doesn't have like one specific identity, but is made up of many identities in order to be able to survive in the environments that I find myself in. So I'm able to kind of like switch between identities at some times. So you'll find that sometimes I'm speaking like this and it's English and then other times I have to change completely to be a closer person within the environment that I find myself in. So it's, it's really about that. It's trying to showcase my struggles and what I identify with and with whom I identify with. The place that inspires me most to create is this space. And I'm currently in the digital arts slash printmaking department studios. Um, it's easy to create in this space because there are so many people around me that are doing the exact same thing, creating. We are all artists and it's easy to bounce off ideas of each other. And you can gain some knowledge and insight into what you're doing through another person's project. And by talking and engaging with one another, we can find ideas and new angles of tackling tasks and like problems that we might come across while creating. During my creative process, a lot goes through my mind because I'm not sure where to start. And in order to conceptualize my ideas into like tangible things, I have to create some sort of visual journal, which helps me to put my ideas on paper. It doesn't have to be like a concrete idea. It's just like a mashup of everything that I'm thinking at that ex like specific time. And that just kind of helps me to like come to a conclusive idea at the end. It's a very difficult process because initially you don't even know where to start. You like, you're trying to just get something on paper and visual journals are the best way for me to do that because it's like I take every little thing that I find and I put it on paper and then after a while I'm like this could actually work with this and then I put that together and it just kind of makes an idea and sometimes you're like okay this is too much and I feel as an artist that's the hardest part where you have to be like okay this is not what you're going for so you have to take some things out and remove others and just make that idea seem cohesive and small because apparently less is more. I don't like to box myself as an artist and as such I've created in many mediums. Currently I'm creating an intaglio plate which has been the most difficult process of all and it's just been challenging because it's like I've never done it before but with being an artist especially in this space we've learned so many new skills 
in first year we had to do like a sculpture and I'd never been a sculptor before and we had to work with clay and that was one of my favorite projects because I didn't know how I could do that and it's just shown like what I'm capable of so far and I'm just so excited for my journey because I'm still learning more skills and just more mediums and everything is just more and it's always bigger than what I thought I was capable of doing and it's pushing me to certain limits and the intaglio plate is it's a lot we've been working on it for about two weeks now and we're still not done so that just shows the process and how grueling it is and sometimes you get frustrated as an artist but you just carry on because you love it and it's amazing